Well, Dennis Quaid is opening up about his faith and is also playing a preacher in his new movie, The Hill by Reserve Entertainment, which is coming out on August 25th. Ricky, I've seen you out there swinging that stick, even when you're suffering pain. But you can't play baseball. You're going to get ridiculed, and you're going to wind up with an injury that you'll never get over. God's going to give you a higher calling. But all I want to do is play. When I swing that bat, I ain't crippled no more. I thought it was really interesting that he shared with People Magazine, and I want to play a clip of that right now. I grew up in the Baptist church, and I, I love the, all the hymns that come from there. But I, I remember going home and having kind of a white light experience that I saw myself either dead or in jail or losing everything I had. And, you know, I didn't want that. When you're done with the, the addiction, you need something to fill that hole, something that really works, right? And I went back and I uh, read the, the, the Bible again. It's just like for the second or third time. And I was really struck by the red words of Jesus. For me, I started developing that personal relationship. And, you know, the songs started to come out. You know, they're self-reflective, self-examining you know, uh, yourself, and also, you know, just where you are spiritually and in life. Uh, you think you're so right that, that, that the journey is uh, never done. And, you know, still, uh, sometimes there's the silence that I met with, you know, mm -hmm. uh, with God. But it, there is a relationship there that I, th I think that we all need to have and in life and because it does, it's about the joy of life. Really, that's what the good news is about. Right. What it, it came here about, it's not just about the, the, the promise of heaven, but it's, it's really teaching us how to have heaven on earth in mm -hmm. a sense. And to, you know, to, to live by it, it's the joy of being alive. I love how the actor shared this month with People Magazine how his Christian faith really saved him from addiction. He said, I remember going home and having a kind of white light experience like we just saw. And I think a lot of people are having this, especially with a Christian foundation. Quaid comes from a Christian background. He was, you know, knew God and learning the Bible through his Baptist church. And as he was growing up, he kind of grew away from the faith. But I love how addiction was the catalyst that God used, especially with this praying mother, who he talks about quite a bit. He even wrote a song for her, but he said, I'm grateful to still be here. I'm grateful to be alive really every day in the People Magazine cover. He said, it's important to really enjoy the ride of life as much as you can, because there's a lot of challenges and stuff that knocks you down. And for Quaid, those challenges included past struggles with addiction. And after making a name for himself, of course, we know him in Hollywood as one of the most versatile stars. I and mean, I love some of his movies like Breaking Away, The Right Stuff, Great Balls of Fire. I mean, so many movies, even The Blue Miracle. And I love The Blue Miracle because it was on Netflix and it was just one of his forays into faith-based projects. This was done by a company that does family and faith films, again, Reserve Entertainment, same company behind the hill that's coming out August 25th. And this is exciting because he lent his talent to this incredible movie that was based on a true story about a bunch of kids who there was a storm and knocked out their orphanage and they were going to have to be distributed throughout the country. And they entered a fishing competition and Quaid played the unlikely boat captain who helped them win the competition. I won't give away too much, but it was an awesome movie on Netflix. But now we're going to watch him again in the hill. But he talks about how he remembers going home and really realizing I'm not dead. I'm not in jail but I can lose everything if I don't change. And he really went after God. He talks about this process of going after God was very personal. He started reading different religious texts, but went back ultimately to the Bible and found his fulfillment in Jesus, which he said, God through Jesus fills the hold inside of us through several of the articles and several of the interviews he's done. And when you're done with addiction, he says, you need something to fill that hole. And what really works? He said, I grew up in the Baptist church. I love the hymns. I remember that from being a kid. And the songs are self-reflected and self-examining, not churchy. And all of us have a relationship with God, whether you're a Christian or not. But I knew that mine had to be through Jesus. So according to belief.net, the actor has bravely been embracing his Christianity in Hollywood without any fear of backlash. He's actually talked about that several times. Like, I'm not afraid of backlash. If I lose it, I lose it. I have God to lean back on. So he's the type of guy who wears his heart on his sleeve, according to this uh, article and interview. And he shouted many times from the rooftops how he's accepted Jesus Christ as a savior during his darkest, moment, darkest moments with addiction. And he strongly believes God saved him from potentially dying over a cocaine overdose. Actor Quaid is gearing up to release a gospel album as well, and he's been sharing 
why he returned to Christianity after becoming so disillusioned by the Southern Baptist Church of his upbringing, who he now credits for his biblical foundation. But in a past interview with the Christian Post, the reporter asked Quaid for his thoughts on what heaven will be like, and Quaid's song, On My Way to Heaven, written for his mother, revealed that he thought about the afterlife quite a bit. And he says, what do I imagine heaven to be like? I think we'll all get a little taste of it here on earth through prayer and meditation. And that's actually good news that there's you know, this this feeling here on earth you can have. Can you imagine it? I don't know. That takes other eyes, he said at the time. Well, I want to play this clip, and I think it's just a great way to end the video from a recent interview he did. What do you imagine heaven to be like? Well, I imagine heaven to be like, I don't know, I think we all get a little taste of it mm-hmm. here on earth mm-hmm. through prayer and meditation. And mm-hmm. that's, the, that's actually the good news. Yeah, it's different, isn't it? Come on, preach. <laughs> you feel it, you feel it. Yeah. To feel it here on earth, to imagine it. I don't know, it takes a different, that takes other eyes. Thanks for joining me. I hope you guys will join me by hitting subscribe, clicking on that notifications button. We want to be with you each and every day with different videos and the content that we have right for you. So thanks for following.